going for a test ride. We're gonna die. We're gonna test drive it to make sure that it rips so when I buy it, I know. <laughs> God. This seems like a caddy. <laughs> it's like a caddy. Okay. <laughs> no way. Oh yeah. Wow. Hey Taryn. Hey, what's it like having a huge? Well, I don't it's have a cop, dog's so... <laughs> it's No, it literally did. That Great Dane right there turned his head every single time <laughs> we drove past it. <laughs> built trucks like he thinks he's like the king of the trucks or something like that but he's he like never builds anything by himself so it's so weird very strange oh that's that's, that's my first gen that we're, we're building a lift for if you guys don't know we're building an extended cab long bed first gen it's gonna be so tall that i can slap jesus in the ankles whenever i feel like it we got the axle trusses welded and we got the cradle all welded up and we got the rear cross member welded up <laughs> camera's gonna do it justice. It's, it's freaking cute. It's like four feet long. That's because the truck's gonna be very, 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 very tall. So I, I want everything to be semi-proportionate. Obviously there's no overlays on it. This is in the really, really early stages. So don't think that like the truck's gonna look like this, but it's not. Um, everything will be powder coated and everything's gonna have nice polished overlays and everything. I have never welded or fabbed anything myself. So don't make fun of me, but you know, I got I got some pretty good ones for not ever really welding before. I'm I'm impressed, and everybody else that I've shown has been like pretty decent, Gabe. We can only go up from here. I wanted to learn how to do it mostly by myself, so then one day I can have a shop. I could build like massive trucks every single day and not have to hire somebody to do it. That'd be pretty sick. So yeah, I made myself weld every single inch of this truck. At some point, I will get so good that I can I can weld in my sleep and then we could be building trucks 24 7 365 which would be pretty awesome that's my dream next steps would be the front cross member uh we gotta build dummy coilovers and then get it sitting at ride height so then we can measure for the arms that'll be next week i'm pretty stoked this thing's gonna be nasty it's gonna be tall it's gonna have a tons of power because cole's building the p-pump 24 valve for it freaking shoot flames and it's gonna have nitrous and it's gonna be rolling burnouts and it's gonna be great really I want to drive it now. We can. We can drive it. <laughs> Insert Cummins start. <laughs> Everybody builds like simple lifts with like two lines on it and like they have like their Instagram and like no. I want something, I want this thing to be an actual work of art. That's why we're going to... Maybe we should just like mega cab one bed spot the fifth gen and then lift it like 16 inches. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. 
I've had some pretty crunchy crunch times. But never have I installed a freaking sway bar in a gas station parking lot. That's pretty crunchy. Let me see that. It was only $3,000. Oh, go get the customer out of my back seat, dude. Thanks to the help of literally everyone, we got uh, new overlays on the truck because before they were just like raw metal because I'm a broke piece of shit. Now we got all nice powder coated overlays. Thanks to Protec too. Protec powder coating is actually like the overnight powder coat on my stuff. Got a freaking sway bar that's the right length that hopefully won't bind up and kill me on the highway. Thanks to Brandon 24 V off road. I told him that I wanted my logo on the overlay and he put his own name. Ignore these logo is brandon 24 v off road truck i just i just drive it around i bought 72 cans of tire shine so i'm gonna be spraying these for the next three hours and hopefully i make it to the show after i get all that done what, what day is it S saturday saturday i'll be here till wednesday probably putting on tire shine Truck thing. Gotta love them, though. How's it feel? How's it feel? You you have a massive schlong, and it's your first truck show with your truck. I don't have a schlong. You you have a massive peen, and you take your truck. I don't have a peen either. You're, but it feels pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know how does it feel to be able to pull up literally raw and probably win all of the awards? Forties and twenty fours. I mean, I got twenty fours too and fifty threes, but this is way cooler. And this is Kevin's buddy. You think that it's like a ragged out second gen, but it's not. It's actually the cleanest one here. Kevin's brand new 2022 off the lot. Got freaking 100 miles on it. Woo! What's it like to have money, Kevin? Let me know. Let me just step back all the way across the entire show so I can fit this thing in the frame. Nice.
smell like these. We found it in a river. <laughs> myself if I found this in the river. <laughs> this truck jumped a plane three times. No way. I swear to God. Go stand next to that tire. Oh, it ain't even that big. It's like, it's not what? It's mega truck. A little, little baby truck. Let, let me just change the oil real quick. Oh my God. That's gotta be the biggest OBS I've ever seen. Yeah. Brandon, don't you think that's the biggest OBS you've ever seen? Probably is. Not, a, there ain't an OBS on the planet that taller than that one. Never will be. <laughs> 50 ton crane hook. Jesus Christ. Haley, can you buy me one of these? I'm not too picky, I don't care which one. I'll take that one or this one, or both. Possibly. Possibly, think about it. Proof cap specialty. I'll take it. Okay. What? No way! Hey, crab walks? What? They what stole it! Okay, no way. Way. Don't even say it, I know I have a lot of them, but listen. We bring it to the shop, we put a second gen axle underneath it. Got negative six in the back and 47 inch left in the front. Ungay your truck! <laughs> oh, it's out of the air, damn it! Ah! I need it. Can I buy this one too? Sure. <laughs> Hey Brandon, what time is it? Oh, Shower time. No, not time. that. I ain't got time for that bull. Okay, we're having an after party and we're gonna shut down Indiana. Thank you. You know what yeah. time it is? What time is it? It's 5.56, we gotta go do our filming bulls. All right, so basically, we're on our way to the third after party location and it hasn't even started yet. Uh, first spot, got shut down by the cops. There was a, a line of 10 cops that probably all follow me on Instagram. They shut it down. And then the second spot was the old quality inn and there was cops sitting there as well. So now we somehow got permission from some performance shop to come have a after party there. They said that we had 200 spots for 200 trucks and then we'd have to park everywhere else. The meet starts in 15 minutes and I was just told that the 200 spots are filled up. Well, I mean, I think there's like a couple trucks. I mean, we're three minutes early, but you know, I think a couple people got the memo. Maybe just a couple, <laughs> I think. That was really lame for like a $150,000 car. Yeah, I'd sell it. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting kicked out of the spot that we totally have permission for because the cops are here. So we're going to Dick's Sporting Goods and we're going to do burnouts and it's going to be awesome. <laughs>
pretty slick fucking single cab. Single cab. We're going for a test ride. We're gonna die. We're gonna test drive it to make sure that it rips so when I buy it, I know. I like this thing. Hayden. Who? Hayden. Right there. Is that Libby?
Ten for those. Pick them up. Mint. All right, we have acquired a whole family of scooters, and we have enough hours to drive all the way back home. We're actually just leaving the trucks here. And on it locks itself. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think we're definitely too tall. That's okay, we'll keep going. Oh yeah, you know, time. we're late. Oh, what do you mean we have a booth? We have uh, a booth. Not in now. <laughs> Ram 25. Ram 25. Yeah. Yes. That's like everything that you own for this half. Yes. It's 25 that turns into a 35, but it's just I not a 2500. I, I just couldn't count. Hey, are you are you that Haley Jones girl? No. Can you sign my? I was talking shit, but that car made like 1,200 horsepower. Literally. It sounds so quiet. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like I was floating. <laughs> 